Good morning, everyone. This is Nosheen Mukhtar, and you're watching me live today. A very good Saturday morning to everybody, and I believe you're doing very well. Just drop in a little bit about yourself in the comments. Let me know where you are joining me from, what you are doing today, what are your Saturday plans, how you are feeling about yourself, and how is everything. Some of you who are entrepreneurs will be able to benefit from today's broadcast because I'm going to talk about uh, startup blues, something that entrepreneurs experience because they are trying to make their startup a success and it's not an easy thing. Just like when we launch something of our own, it's not just about business, anything. Even if you are uh, having an idea and you're building that idea into something or you have started a new job and uh, it's new for you and there is a lot of stress and there is a lot of ex expectations around you, a lot of people who are different and are expecting you to behave and act differently. All of this might give you stress, your own expectations of your perhaps new things, maybe a new location, maybe a new country where you have moved to might give you stress. And this is what we are going to talk about, but I will connect it with entrepreneurship because that's my area. Uh, let me show some of the greetings from you guys because it feels really good that you are with me today. Ejaz Jamkash, thank you so much for joining me. And hi, uh, Anil Yadav, thank you. Engineer Fawad, good to have you with me today. Khalid Hussain, yes, you are also very great. Hassan Raza, good to see you always too. And thank you for joining me today. Tajweer Singh, you are awesome. And it's great to have you on a Saturday morning in my live broadcast. Shahzad Alam, good to see you today. You are wonderful. All right, as uh, you go on sending me comments, please share your views about entrepreneurship blues, startup blues, and this is what we are going to talk about today. You might not find me very loud because it's Saturday morning. I'm a little bit in a relaxing mood. I'm not willing to do a lot. All right, Ghulam Kashmiri, great to see you, my dear friend. And so, brother, there you go. No, this is so <laughs> Hello, how are you, Rahil Ashraf? Yes, thank you so much for the compliment, Rahil. It's great to have you with me today. Yasir Masood, hello. I believe you're doing very well and having a great Saturday morning. Muhammad Saladin Baloch, welcome, salam, and it's great to have you with me. I'm very happy that all my friends are here. Good to see you, Javed Khan, and I believe you will all contribute in today's conversation. So let's start. Let's start talking about startup business blues. All right. One thing why I always come up with something related to business is I'm on a mission. How many of you actually know about my mission? Do share your answer in comments. Do you know about my mission? I will put this up in the banner so that you can tell me if you know about my mission. This is question of the day, and you are supposed to answer it for me. I want to know if you are aware of my mission. I have said many things about my mission in many of my broadcasts before, and I would love to have an answer now from you guys instead of my telling you what my mission is. Hi, Festus. Uh, nice to see you, Muhammad Sajad, Muhammad Sajid. I'm perfectly fine. Thank you so much for asking. Thank you. Yes, Subradev, let's start. All right. So you're going to answer what is Nosheen's mission? Why she's always talking about business? Why so many entrepreneurs appear on different talk shows of Nosheen? This is a question of the day and you have to answer it for me so that I can share it live and I can also understand whether you have been following what I do and you are benefiting from what I do live in different shows and also in my real life. All right, so <clears throat> entrepreneurship blues refers to stress, refers to fatigue, refers to burnout in the struggle that an entrepreneur's experience brings to her. Now, uh, why do I say struggle? 
I know that it is not easy to run a business. It is not easy to build something from scratch. It's really not easy because it will require you to give extra time, to make use of all your resources and perhaps look for more resources from other places. It will bring in some drudgery because you will not always be winning. There will be some failures, there will be some hiccups, and yes, there will be some triumphs as well. So what happens is an entrepreneur's life, like every other story, becomes something like that starts somewhere, has a journey that has little bit of struggle, little bit of bumps, little bit of problems, maybe more problems, not little bit. It depends on how uh, someone has planned their journey. And then leading up to victory and after the victory starts an other journey because an entrepreneur is always ambitious and is never stopping at something. All right, I am still waiting for you guys to tell me what is Machine's mission. It's very important for us to answer this question before I start. So quickly drop in the messages, your views, and tell me if you have grabbed my mission. By the way, it's also on my website. All right. So here is Muhammad Basin. He says, Dear Nosheen, may Allah bless you, long life with good health. Ami. Thank you so much, Muhammad Basin. Your prayers matter a lot for me. And it's because of your prayers that I'm doing very well. I really appreciate that you have all made time in, on a Saturday morning to be with me. So make a little bit of effort and tell me what is Nosheen's mission. I'm waiting for your responses. All right, moving forward. Running a startup, as I said before, is not easy. Because an entrepreneur is usually starting on his or her own. And the experiences are likely to vary. There will be peak times and there will be low times. So when there are peak times, there is a lot of excitement. But when there is low time, there is no excitement. There is a lot of stress. And today we are going to talk about what that stress does to us. Definitely, definitely it causes some damage. And the damage is on various levels. If you, have, uh, if you have had not enough sales, then it will be financial damage. If you've had not the expected outcome from a strategy, then it's going to be psychological, emotional, and financial damage. If you haven't had enough support from your friends, it's going to be definitely a lot of, a lot of emotional stress, where you will be disappointed, you will feel bad, and the negativity will surround you. And this will become your startup goals. Now, I will share quickly with you how you can overcome these startup goals. First thing first, you must accept that you are a small business owner, that you have just started, that things are not going to go very well right from the beginning, that there will be problems, that if one problem has come, it's not going to stay with you forever. Listen to me now. If a problem has come, accept it that it's not going to stay with you forever. It will go away and you will be all right and things will work for you and you will be happy and there will be abundance and there will be blessings and there will be people standing beside you. There will be support. There will be resources. If they are not there now, that doesn't mean that you should keep on blaming yourself or you should start feeling bad about yourself. You should start feeling like you need to give up and this is not your thing. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. So what you're going to do is overcome this negativity, have some acceptance, acceptance of your own personal limitations as an entrepreneur because you're just starting off and it's not going to shoot up right away. And acceptance of the circumstance you, you find yourself in, for example, the present market scenario where not everybody has the money to buy from everybody else and hence business owners and entrepreneurs have a little bit of struggle in making their sales and they need to do things out of the box to make things work. So in such a case, I, I believe that you have this level of acceptance that allows you to rationally accept your own limitations and the limitations around you. But at the same time, the acceptance does not let you down and you do not begin thinking 
that your limitations are going to stop you from anything and you're not going to move on. No, no, that's not going to work that way. All right, I will pause here and I will check if somebody has told me what my mission is. All right, there is something here from Muhammad Singh. He says, we are manufacturing auto spare parts for cars and looking good business partners from all over the world. All right, great Muhammad Singh. Nice to have this call. And I believe that you will find good partners very soon. All right, nobody has told me what is Noshin's mission. Looks like in the end, I will be telling you. Anyways, moving on with Startup Blues, the next step you can do in order to feel better and of overcome burnout, negativity, feeling down is a change of your perspective. Start looking at things from a different angle. And I do the same when I feel very down. And yes, there are many times when I'm not feeling very happy, when I'm not happy with the outcomes, when, when I feel like things should have been more than they are. So at that time, even myself apply this thing. I change my perspective. I try to look at things from a different angle. I step into other people's shoes and I stop my negative, consciously stop my negative thoughts. And I start thinking about solutions rather than the problem. And it helps me in triggering a growth mindset, a mindset that allows me to think beyond the obvious failure, think beyond the problems, think beyond the circumstances, think beyond the limitations. And it's when you start thinking beyond the limitations is when you are actually stepping out, out and away from limitations. We have an answer from someone. Here it is. Yasser Masood says, Noshin's mission is to develop entrepreneurship. All right. Yes, Yasser, you're right. My mission is to help and support all entrepreneurs, especially startup owners, entrepreneurs that are in first two years of their business, and also mid-sized businesses that are struggling with recognition, with building their brand, with, with building their presence with building a tribe. I work on all these different segments to help them stand up. Thank you so much for nailing it. And Mahmoudul Hassan, great to have you with me and hi. All right, so we were talking about how we can overcome startup rules. Okay, one thing that I have not been able to do very successfully, and I believe many of you can do, must be doing is sustaining a sense of humor. Now, when things don't go right, and when I'm very, very tired, it's really super difficult for me to have a sense of humor and to say something funny. So when I fail to do it myself, I stick with people who have a great sense of humor and who have the knack of saying wonderful things to make me laugh. My friends, yes. I hang out with my friends and they help me overcome negativity. They change my mood. And the challenging situation goes at the back of my head and it doesn't come to the forefront for a very long time. This is something you should also do. Having great company, having great friends who will help you sustain a positive mindset, who will help you overcome your negative thoughts, people who will help you overcome your limitations, people who will help you in uh, having a different perspective, people who will encourage you not to look at the hard part of things and be sad about it. These are the people you should surround yourself with. And one such friend is right here, right now. Rohit. He is one of my very good friends with a great sense of humor. And he thinks so super well. If you have not heard him, you should today. Go to his YouTube and you will find something. All right, so Rohit says positive mindset leads to elimination of negative thoughts and enhances your focus into your work. Absolutely true. And every entrepreneur needs it. Every entrepreneur that is facing some startup blues or any blues for that matter can make use of positive mindset and can enhance focus, not just on work, but also on the quality of life that they are leading. Do you agree with me, Rohit? 
all right so apart from this having good mood and great humor um an entrepreneur who is experiencing startup blues should also think about burnout now how does burnout happen when you are working 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 and working 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 all the time you get burnout you get tired you get exhausted what happens is your client expectations their requirements your work stress your fatigue from work your fatigue from planning your tiredness from your family life and your financial issues sometimes that are lingering your pending payments that you need to take care of during a month they all start bothering you they all start draining you of your energy and that's when you experience intense burnout and what you can do what you can do tell me what you can do to overcome burnout yes now this is going to be your answer i have an answer from mubin he says your one of the missions is to bring business under one umbrella absolutely true so one mission that noshin has is to bring different businesses under one umbrella and connect them so that they are able to offer support and sustainability to each other now my next question that i have just asked to you guys is how do you overcome burnout i know it's a saturday morning i know i'm pushing you and i like that so you have to tell me how do you overcome burnout okay when it comes to overcoming burnout i do the following uh, i take a break from everything that i'm doing which everybody should do you should also take a break i try arranging for a staycation sometimes not always or i just retreat and uh, have some chocolates watch movies spend a lot of time with my child and my family call my mom and speak with her for hours this is my favorite thing to do and it helps me overcome fatigue uh, i read a book i love reading books i have lots and lots of books that i love the one that i'm reading these days and i have finished half of it is how to uh, win hearts no sorry i have forgotten the name it's something related to how to influence people and make friends by carnegie now i don't remember the first name see this is my memory it shows an overcrowded brain <laughs> but i'm okay with that all right then what else do i do to overcome burnout i take good food and i go shopping that's something i love to do so now in comments you have to answer this second question and you have to tell me how do you overcome burnout when you are exhausted 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 all right meditation is good way of for, uh, not just establishing focus but also giving yourself a relaxing time what happens when you are meditating is you are letting your your emotions your thoughts flow and you go with the flow and that flow relaxes you and i believe that if you are experiencing burnout meditation also help you in reducing your anxiety in reducing what's bothering you and having more inner peace i don't know yoga so i am not going to talk about yoga here but many people make use of some yoga exercises in order to overcome their burnout and relax their body and feel good if you know yoga do try it and if you're interested in teaching yoga i am here and you know where to find me all right i have a comment from someone which is defining exhaustion okay all right so moving on another problem is the absence of focus in an entrepreneur's life and let me confess this this is something common i'm not saying just with reference to other people's experiences i'm saying it it's very usual for me to struggle with focus now why do noshin struggle with focus because she has so many 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 things to do so what happens is when there are too many events in the row and events arrangements taking too much of my time and we are servicing a lot of clients as a team we have to plan for the entire week and then as a matter of fact not just one week more weeks to go forward with and then we have execution then we have shoots it becomes too much and 
too much of too many things at one time can take away the focus and it's not just my case i believe majority of entrepreneurs suffer uh, and struggle with managing focus they try their best to find ways in which they can maintain focus now when it comes to maintaining your focus you need to understand that you should not be distracted from your own goals you should uh, understand all your actions are directed towards one single thing one single thing that all of you yani yourself and your team is going to achieve and it's not something small it's something super important for you so once you are distracted try to get back to where you were and uh, go back to your goals again and again revisiting them will definitely help you in establishing a focus apart from this give yourself some alone time that is very important because it will bring you back to where you started and it will help you have more focus uh, more understanding of what you want to do more understanding of where you are headed and what action you should take to continue with your journey i mean journey towards success all right last and the most important thing okay before i move on to that someone has shared something really nice Yasser Masood says, "Do exercise, play guitar, and hang out with friends to overcome burnout." Yes, I I totally agree with this. Uh, if you don't know how to play guitar, you should have a friend who does it for you, and you can have a good time. Hanging out with friends is my all-time favorite. I seriously love it. Sometimes I'm hosting social nights just because I want all my friends to be there, and I want to make new friends as well. So if you feel like you don't have too many friends in Dubai and you're struggling with um making new friends you can join us in our networking events and avail opportunities of socializing in one of our social nights and i'm sure it's going to it's going to help you uh one more thing uh, from shahid abdullah for the entrepreneurs is love yourself first yes definitely every every entrepreneur should love himself or herself first because that's where the true uh the truth of everything starts so if you need your energy if you need your motivation if you need to be successful if you need to do well if you need to be known for something your self love is the key to it and that's where you start all right now in order to overcome entrepreneur startup blues you need to learn from your mistakes i know this is a common statement and everybody says how do we learn from our mistakes is a question all right i'm going to put up this question next for you and you're going to answer it for me you are going to tell me how do we learn from our mistakes and what do we learn from our mistakes all right there we go the first lesson that i learned from my mistake is that it's not a mistake it's a learning experience and i'm going to take it easy i'm not going to get into self blame i'm not going to bother myself with a lot of remorse i'm not going to foster negativity because the result was not good enough no that's not going to happen i'm going to take it differently i'm going to go back to the situation and my actions and i'm going to assess what was wrong and what i could do to make things better and that's how we learn from our mistakes we look at the things that we have done in the past in the near past that did not work that that made us call that a mistake and then we fix it we learn that we are going to try again we solution and have the full confidence on what we are doing do it with full force and make make things happen rather than making a blunder when you are assessing what you have done your previous behavior or your strategy definitely you are going to see the loopholes that did not make things work for you fix those loopholes fix the problem don't be brash fix things up and that is how you will be learning from your mistakes all right how do you learn from your mistakes I'm waiting for you guys to share some ideas with me in the comments. I want to know how do you learn from your mistakes? 
you know one of my friends used to host a wonderful night on which those famous entrepreneurs would come and oh what is it called 